Hi everyone, I'm Craig McMorris and this is McMorris Redux, the show where we talk about our MTV show, McMorris and McMorris, filmed seven years ago. Mark and me get to travel around the whole world with our guys. Pretty much have as much fun as we can and that's all we do. <laughs> We're gonna bring on guests. We're gonna find out where they're at. We're gonna settle scores that have never been settled before. So if you're a fan of McMorris and McMorris, you're in for a real treat. Before we get into episode one, the Regina monologues, let's bring on our co-host, Mark McMorris. Mark, hey. welcome to the show, buddy. Thanks, Everybody thanks. give him some love. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, Mark. Okay. Don't. Okay, <laughs> sit down. Sorry. Mark. So Mark and myself, two young pro snowboarders, get the chance to film an MTV show. Pro rider dropping in. Yeah! Honestly, Lifelong friendships were formed with that whole casting crew and just glad to have known them. How you doing, Craig? I thought they looked <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> that was a life-changing moment. That was a huge left turn for us. In terms of our career, what we thought was possible, where we could go, what we could achieve. So I think by getting this show, it changed our lives. We're not gonna be young, healthy, extremely good looking for our whole lives, so you gotta carpe yolo. Sort of just the kickoff, right? A kickoff for the rest of our lives. Yeah, essentially. So, let's talk about episode one. Ladies and gentlemen, strap your skates on. We're about to have a good time. Episode one, Mark, Regina Monologues. This was pivotal. This was life-changing. We're prairie kids, and prairie kids f***ing send it. What do you remember? I just remember a lot of really good people being around and a lot of help being given for a good cause, to play some hockey, for a good send off right over to the X Games. And This is our first episode. This is our first time on the national stage. Let's stick to what we know. We're gonna stick to hockey and we're gonna stick to snowboarding. So in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, Mark, you go to the X Games, I go to the X Games as well, but before that, we get a send off. We get a huge hockey send off. Who set that up? That was set up by our father, Don McMorris, the overseer. Yep. Thanks for showing up. Thanks, Dad. So Craig just finally arrived. Sure, it's all gonna work out, but uh, as a parent, I could do with a little less stress. Mitch Simpson, the do nothing guy, but look good. I'm Mitch, the hammer Simpson, and the looks the brains. Andrew Hansen and Mike Allport, the heavy lifters. We played a game of hockey, and I don't know if you remember, but we got in a little bit of a tilly. I think it's right here. Go for the net. So we were obviously on different teams. Hey, see that? Holy cow, you look a little worried. I don't look worried, I look jacked. <laughs> that was a very funny photo. You can see a lot of, uh, a lot of emotion in our faces, which yeah. is nice. We were so young. If I could just go back. If we could just go back. But hey, that's what and we're that's doing That's why this. we're doing the Redux. Let's Redux about it. Now, Mark, we played against each other, but we didn't really find out who won the game. The viewers never knew who won that ice hockey game. I know, does anyone? I don't know if anybody does, but I thought I'd take it upon myself and ask a couple close friends, some people that were there, who they think is a better hockey player. So, should we have a look? Yeah. Hello, my name's Don McMorris. I had the privilege of watching Mark and Craig grow up as their father. I would say that Mark probably had the edge on Craig when they were kids, as Mark was very, very aggressive and Craig tended to be more into the dramatics. Uh, sorry, Craig. <laughs> But I would say now that Craig is a much better hockey player than, than Mark. Because he plays more. Partly because of some of the coaching that Craig had when he was younger. Thank you. Don was as well coach. as the fact that he's probably playing quite a bit more. So it's a very politically correct answer. I would say Mark when he was younger and Craig definitely wow. now. Gooey, you heard it from the goat's mouth right there. Greatest of all time, Don McMorris. He was my hockey coach, actually. And uh, what like, do you think of that answer? Tier three. Sorry. I was wearing the C. I was playing in tier one. Anyways, um, that's that's beyond beyond your the tier point. one right on the bench. Uh, let's. I uh, was just third line, and you know what? We're December babies, so as a lot of Canadians know, you're playing with older kids most of the time. You're swimming upstream, so to speak. What's that for? It's just for your sob story, buddy. <laughs> uh, let's get to the next video. We asked somebody else who they thought was the better hockey player. Oh, Beezer, how are you? Hello, everyone. It's uh, B Mac here. I'm going to have to go with Craig McMorris on this one. He puts in the time and the work. And while you think he's putting his life on the line in real snow, it's, it's really in the Whistler Hockey Dojo. 
and the world is too focused on whatever Mark's doing, um, which is obviously not following his true passion on the ice. Yes, be there. Honestly, I'm so happy with that answer. <laughs> as long as it's your second favorite thing. Mark, pretty unanimous decision. Um, fun to watch, fun to see those faces. How do you feel? Honestly, I'm feeling at peace with it. Okay, I see that. Now, you're at peace, but we want our viewers to be at peace. That's the point of McMorris Redux, is to make sure the viewers feel cared for, because it has been seven years, and people don't forget. Now, Mark, I think we should do a skills contest. You and me, find out the winner of this thing. I think I'm thinking, fastest lap, hardest shot, shootout, we'll get a goalie in net, and maybe a shooting accuracy, something like that. We can kind of make it up as yeah, we go. That sounds but good. I think a real, real nugget in this thing is we have a referee, and that referee be Fergie Kancade, our Red Bull team manager at the time, the gentleman who traveled the world with us and got us out of a lot of trouble. No better man for the job. I'm gonna grab a pina colada refill. We'll meet in like 10 minutes and we'll just sort this all out. We'll have a real proper business meeting. I like it, I love it, I want more of it. Okay, so you and me, hockey, let's do it. How much? Five bucks. Hundy? Canadian? Yeah. My role here today is just to kind of, you know, ensure everything runs smoothly. We're uh, pretty by the book here. Fastest lap, what are the rules? I think we do two tries, best one counts. Cool. One, two, shoot. Mark McMorris is going first in the speed challenge. Ready, Sparky? Yeah. Go on the whistle. Ooh, for a little false start, we'll give you a break. Not bad, bit of a false start, but he recovered from it. 1808, if it's down to a game of inches. This way. He's quick. Seventeen point nine. Craig takes it by a hair. Ready? Yeah. Let's go, Sparky. Oh yeah, it's looking better, it's looking better. Oh, with the heat. Woo! 16.99. Mark's second run, very impressive. On the whistle. Oh, looks like he had a little bit of agave last night. It's not gonna be enough, folks. 17.79. Mark, fastest lap. <sighs> All right, shootout, three pucks, most goals wins. If it's a tie, one puck after that. Okay. Mark goes first, shootout, here we go. Mark, first shot. Good first start. Nice, Gregor. 1-1. One, one. No dice. No, no dice. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good job. You too. Big thanks to Charlie Grinnell, outstanding goalie. Stood on his head, uh, but I got lucky and took the dub on that one. That was a fun one, though. Moving. I had a moving. You got to get lateral. Shooting accuracy. Four targets hang here. You get five pucks. You try to hit as many as you can. You can't hit the same target. Winner takes all. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah! F you, Mark. Chalk one up. We're gonna do a little face-off, a little draw contest. Gregor. Dude, you can't go early like that. <laughs> See, you can't go early. Keep it clean, Craig. Sparky. 
Good one. Well, good hustle, boys. Thank you. Uh, Mark, you came out of the gate very strong. Yep. Craig, you came in the tail end very strong. Thank you. Uh, and I have to say, overall winner is you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Congrats. Valiant effort. Um, congrats to you, viewer, because you're getting to watch Regina Monologues, episode one, McMorris, McMorris. This is Saskatchewan. They say it's so flat here, you can watch your dog run away for three days. Possibly the last place you'd expect to find a couple of pro snowboarders. But you know what? We're prairie kids, and prairie kids can send it. My brother Mark is sitting on the peak of professional snowboarding right now, about to drop in. The best. I have a dream come true of a job. Mark and me get to travel around the whole world with our guys. Pretty much have as much fun as we can, and that's all we do. Oh, We're not gonna be young, healthy, extremely good looking for our whole lives, so you gotta carpe YOLO. You know, carpe diem, but you only live once. It's been a minute since we've been boarding in the old Saskamagina. If I had a dime for every time somebody said, I can be a pro snowboarder from Saskatchewan, I would be a very rich man. Here in the prairies, the flatness gives you a sense of patience. You know, you're driving from Moose Jaw to Regina. You can see Regina, but you're still an hour away. I think it makes a strong snowboarder coming from Saskatchewan just because you want it that much more. I think it's pretty good right now. Oh, yeah. This season is huge. It is as big as Godzilla. Nine rounds, don't get up against the ropes. Control the fight, control the season. Come in hot, pop, lock and drop it. Nice we'll take that one. Nice tight. Oh, yeah. When you think of Adam, Mark, and myself, you think of a circle. I think triangle, three corners, good foundation. You need all of them. Along with the job description of filmer, I'm the scheduler, the manager, I'm the traveling dad, I guess you could say. If Adam was a computer program, he would be Excel for sure. Let's get out of here. We're heading down to Aspen for the X Games in two days for what is to be the biggest contest of the year. We need to figure something out for our last night. We're not here for another two months, so what do you guys want to do for the last night? I'm thinking clear off a little skating rink, invite the boys, and just have a little pond hockey, a little classic Saskatchewan good time, if you know what I'm saying. I understand the reasoning behind having the party. I don't really understand the logic as far as going to the biggest competition the day after. We need to call Mitch. He's going to come up with the best idea. I'm Mitch, the Hammer Simpson, and the looks, the brains. Yeah. What up, Mitch? What's up, Mitch? We're going to bounce an idea off you, send it right back. We're wondering if you could build us a hockey rink for the last night. I am a hustler. I get out there, I do the dirty work. Yeah, you know, watch, uh, I'm a grinder out there, and I'll, uh, I'll get her done. You get her done. Thank you so much, Mitch. I better get going, because I got to get working on this now. All right, see you, buddy. Do you think he knows we're going to the skate park right now? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we're going for a skate sesh. We're going to go skateboarding. Pro Rider dropping in. Yeah! We had to switch Craig off of the blades a few years ago. I got him into skateboarding. He's honestly the most entertaining skateboarder to watch ever. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah! Count it! Get down it! Halfway across. Mark and Craig are super busy doing who knows what, and they gave me the task to come out here to Echo Lake and set up their farewell party with the pondering and beers and girls and get the invites on the man that does it all. I got uh, Don, Andrew, and uh, Mike to come help me, just knowing that, you know, you can't do this all by yourself. You know, at the end of the day, you do need some hands. What do you think it would look like if Mitch was running that thing? Be tipped over. <laughs> and maybe it's my nature, but or maybe it's Mitch's nature. I tend to take over, and uh, as a result of the actual doing it, tends to fall on my shoulders and a few other friends with the boys. Thanks for showing up, Mitch. <laughs> uh. It's always in the back of my mind, oh, what if he gets hurt doing something stupid, skating? You know what, I've come to realize that it's all part of why Mark is good at what he does. Catch some air, bud. That's what I'm trying, bro. Yeah! It was so nasty. Oh, you brought that shit back? Thank you. Woo! There we go. That 
that'll do. Where's Mitch? We need the squeegee going. It's turning out pretty well. Uh, quite frankly, no thanks to Mitch. Yeah. yeah. Well, now nice. we're talking. Yeah. Mitch was a sandbagging son of a bitch. He said he was going to be out here early this morning, and uh, that didn't happen. Oh my god, I think I hear a Mitch. Richie's here, no worries. I'm the supervisor, I make sure everything's key, on point, ready to rumble, so when they're out here, they're ready to go. What's this thing here? Well, you know, you can start working. Supervision is over. <laughs> See, you guys, look, as soon as I get here, stuff gets done. Look at this. Would you just look at that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, their job is easy. I'm the one that takes charge and has to deal with everybody, and it's tough and I don't get enough respect for it, to be honest. Well, I should probably go pick up the pizza, eh? Well, you're the organizer. <laughs> All that's left to do is really let the ice freeze and uh, come back with Mark and Craig and get this farewell party on the go. We just got here, Craig and I rolled up. The rink is like more than we ever asked for. Jay, thank you, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm so psyched for everybody to arrive. All right, let's get this bonfire started. All right, Hell let's, yeah. do it. let's do it. Babylon is burning! Mark, has anybody seen Mitch or have you texted Mitch? I'm already exhausted. We need a, I need a line change. Where's my fourth line, guys? But I'm excited for everybody to show up. I don't know where Mitch is. Where's the guys? I need my guys. Are they gonna bring that bus out on the lake? The bus should stop. You're gonna be dead. Yeah, yes! Ladies and gentlemen, strap your skates on. We're about to have a good time. This is the ultimate Saskatchewan send-off. Hey, go ahead and put your skates on, guys. We're starting about T minus 30 seconds. It was just like super cool to see the bus come. Like, just so awesome. Hey, this whole thing, this whole rink was me. Like, you know. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Hey, Mitch, glad you showed up, bud. Yeah! <laughs> what a man, thank you, ma'am. I did this whole thing, and this is how I get treated out here. The boys were stoked. They knew the effort I put into this. It was hard work. A lot of texting of girls. Let's get this game going! I'm so glad to have this ending party, and I cannot wait to go to X Games. Mark, time to get up. No. Yes, you gotta get to the airport. I'm awake and I'm back. Get going, you gotta get up. Uh, uh, Craig. We're a couple hours away from flying time and Mark has slept in and I don't even think Craig made it home last night, so a uh, little concerned about that. Little Sparky's not going to be feeling too good today. No, he's going to be about a 1 out of 10. This kid better be ready. Give him a little hockey hug. Marky Poops, let's get her going, bud. We got the jet waiting. She's running. Hop in the car. He is hurting. How are you? Where were you, dude? Seriously. I'm like a puppy and I just roam. Thanks for showing up. Thanks, Dad. So Craig just finally arrived. Sure, it's all going to work out, but uh, as a parent, I could do with a little less stress. Have fun, boys. Thank you. See ya. Good luck. Yep. Don't worry, I'll make sure they're OK. Thanks, Adam. See you in Aspen. You're the man. I love Aspen. It's the biggest contest of my season. I'm just really looking forward to everything, and there's a lot going on this week. Don't you have the press conference today? No, man. Practice today, press conference is on Wednesday. The media circus begins. Just rolled into Aspen. Beautiful day, sun shining. Course looks amazing. It's the X Games. Busiest week of my season. You got to remember, it's all about having fun. 10-4. It's a 10-4.
Your home crag looks a little small. Well, you know what? Let's not judge it before I get in. Let's get in there and really figure it out. We just dropped off Craig at the Red Bull Canada house. See you, bud. See you, dog. It's good that we dropped him off. Mark and I have some work to do, and we can't have that distraction around us. So it's going to be a busy week. Need some time to prepare. Hello? Fergie Ferg? Gregor. We decided to get this house in Aspen. Uh, this is the second year that we've done it. You know, lots of friends and family are in town, so they can come hang out. Good to see you. Yeah, well. This you is know, the spot. What do you think? It's a little dated, but you yeah. know what? It's okay. Fergie is the biggest boss I know. Should we go have a look around? Yeah, I'll follow you. Sweet. I'm the monkey. He's the ringleader. I'll dance. A little bathroom there for your okay. business. For the business. That's the business side of things. Yeah. Fergie toured me around the house, showed me all sorts of things, and he showed me all the things that he put into the house. I got this artwork put in. I kind of thought it looked like you and Mark as young extreme athletes a little bit. Basically, uh, you're just your normal house tour, really. You know, nothing special. So this is our... Games room. Wow. Playroom. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Yeah. Love the portraits. Keep the tips up right there. Keep the tips Remember up. Remember that. Always, always, okay. This week is gonna be absolutely insane. We're gonna see what the circus entails. That is X Games. We've got a lot of activities planned and I'm extremely excited. The X Games is the most important competition of the year simply because it's the biggest event of the year. It's essentially the Olympics of action sports. There's really no other way of putting it. For me, this is the biggest week of my year. Kind of the most stressful as well. There's a lot of pressure involved. Everybody's bringing their A game, training super, super hard for it. If there's anybody out there that can handle the pressure, the stress of the contest, it's him. He thrives off of pressure. Last year was my best year at the X Games yet. I won the Soap Style Gold and the Big Air Gold, and there's definitely a lot running on that this year. Everybody's looking at him, media included, to do that again, which is a very tall order. So it's really gonna be a hell of a week. Slope style is really, you know, the essence of riding. There's jumps, rails. The idea is to go through the course, hitting all the features, doing the most technical, clean tricks you can do. Get down the hill and, you know, you hope that the judges reward you uh, in a big way. We have only two days of practice before Thursday, which is the semifinal. So to show up and have a good course, it's pretty much epic for every rider. And I think we're ready to get this battle underway. Mark may be the favorite, but anybody can take it away. Rolled into the Aspen airport with Fergie, just picking up my boy, Shawnee P. Where is Shawnee? Uh -oh. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, bring it in. Ah, uh, you guys. This up? is my little guy. My name is Sean Pettit, and I am a professional skier. I think we should really cook on this run, like as fast as we can. A little, shake, little shake and bake. Good times, dude. Pretty much the day before qualies, I just wanted qualies to show up, you know, and there's so much build up for this big event for me, you know, it's such a big deal. You have the press conference. It's just been building all week, all month. It's just been building. Two-time Olympic gold medalist, of course, Sean White very rarely needs introductions. If you don't know Sean White, he's probably one of the best snowboarders, if not the best snowboarder that's ever lived. They had Mark take his photo to the left and Sean take his photo to the right so they could face it like a boxing match. That's media. They're always just looking for a new story, kind of setting me and Sean up together to like battle against one another. Everybody's looking at me to beat Sean. I know it's not really what I'm doing. I'm snowboarding out there for myself and trying to land the run I can to win this contest. I'm more excited for the semifinals than I am the finals almost because there's 16 riders and they have two runs and they cut it down to eight riders for the final. So like, do you do your hardest run and then maybe fall and not get in? Or do you do a run you think you can land, but if that's not difficult enough, then you don't get in, it's gonna be pretty crazy. And it all comes down to this. Mark Morris closes out run number one. Before my first run of semifinals, I was freaking out because I heard Sean had a really good run and I just was stressing and I couldn't feel my legs. Dropping it next, here we go. Mark Morris on course. Oh, that was great. Let's go, Mark. I felt confident, but at the same time, there's just so, so much pressure. I feel like pressure sometimes makes me try harder, and that works out for me, you know? And oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, 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 oh,
Baby. Once I got past the first rail, I knew everything was going to be OK. I just needed to ride. And then 88.66. Frick yes. Ah. That's what I did, and it worked out. I got a high score, so I was hyped. No, sick, dude. Thank you. Craig's kind of been on his own program. I've seen him up at the hill, which is awesome to have the support. I think he's enjoying Aspen, too. Good job. See you, Adam. Good job yesterday. Killed Thank it. you. Thank First you. First place. Thank Put you. her on the bolts. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit nervous. Nice shot. <laughs> yesterday yeah. was nutto. Glad that one's out of the way. Deegan, BMAC, and Mitch land today. We got to seriously come up with something. We got the, uh, you know, the good old boys from Regina flying down. And I think I'm going to surprise them a little bit with a nice new kit and maybe a sick automobile. It's going to be really ridiculous. I think they're going to be pretty surprised. Right on, Bill. OK, Terry. It's going to be pretty Aspen. Get going. Nice shot. How long have we been here? Over an hour. Give him a dingle. No answer, boys. He said he was going to be here. Maybe he's bringing that Escalade. Or a party bus. Yeah, party bus. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Thinking we were getting an Escalade, you know, or stretch limo, or something of that nature. And all of a sudden he comes on this little mini bike, and you know, what the hell are we gonna do with that? Nothing. So we got that little mini bike here. We're gonna get a sick piece of plywood, uh, prop her up against a nice mound of snow, and try and catch some air. I think Winter X Games is gonna have a new event. Bang it, Craig! Oh God, it sucks! Craig McMorris is a bit, no. Not all there. I think you went a bit short. Short? Short. Yeah, I think you went short. Dude. Going into slope style, Mark had qualified first. You never really know who's gonna take it because there's so many guys that have these amazing tricks. Everybody's gonna be bringing their ball gloves because they are gonna be catching some big air. Boys are gonna be checking their bodies around like it's a circus. Sean White and Mark McMorris. It's a hyped up rivalry. I can't imagine what's going through Mark's head right now. It's been hyped up so much by the media. I know it's gonna be a good showdown, but I think I'm more stoked to perform better and shred better if there's pressure. It just makes me focus, so you want it even more. There's so much media built up about me versus him, and it was gonna be like a battle to the death. He like, came out of it not looking like he was riding well because he had two super uncharacteristic falls in his like last two runs. I think he just had a bad day. He, he tried his best. Mark McMorris is about to rain style down on this slope stop course here in Aspen. I think Mark is more ready than ever for the X Games this year. He's been riding better. He's been training harder. He's not in a contest for second or third. He's in there always to win. I feel like I've done everything to prepare myself for this, and it was a lot of pressure building up to this X Games more than most, so I'm stoked. I'm also really nervous. All right, here we go. Here we go. Mark and Force on course. All right, Mark dropping the switch. A lot of times you go to a contest with a run in mind, like, kind of like a dream run, and it doesn't happen, you know? And you always have to adapt and switch. And I had a dream run in my head, and I was like so stoked to be able to do it. I couldn't be happier, like with the riding, with what I really came there to do. I lost my mind. It was insane. Pulled out all the stops. He did probably some of the most insane tricks ever. A history-making slope-style contest for snowboarding. I've never seen anything like it. To have Craig and friends from back home, it's awesome. I love having my friends at events. Mark, 
That was pretty, pretty amazing, you know, having the boys here, just keeping the vibes good. So it's uh, good to have them around. Make some noise for Mark the Morris! X Games was everything I wanted and more. It was an unreal weekend. I got the highest slow style score ever at X Games Aspen, so that was really cool. There's been so much pressure and so much speculation, and now it's over. Like, he came out on top, could not be more proud. We can have fun tonight there, guys. <laughs> <laughs>